Yo, what up everybody? Robot Vice here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a full Techies gameplay commentary, uh, not just a gameplay perspective where you hear my teammates. This is going to be me talking over the mic for the duration of the game. Um, in this match I am playing Techies as position 4 and I'm playing with this Clockwork Dual Offlane. And a lot of people ask me, like, because usually when I finish my Techies games, I'm usually towards the high end of the net worth. You know, top top one or two on my team. And that's because this hero really thrives when you're playing with heroes like Nyx Assassin, Clockwork. Heroes that, once they get level six, they kind of leave Techies to be. And they let Techies... Um, take over as the position three and then the clockwork or Nyx assassin switch to that position four role because techies really does need some farm and especially the way that I play them so I'm gonna show you guys a good example of that and how it's supposed to work um, they're coming to try to take our bounty room but clockwork cogs off so I'm in the middle of watching uh, ESL right now, but since I got some time in between games, I'm going to upload a commentary for you guys here. And I think they might have a lane ward because I realized that they're tri laning. We spot out both of their supports, so it's going to be a Phantom Lancer, Winter Wyvern, Lion, tri lane. And we're not sure if we can win this lane. We're questioning it. We're like, should we try to dual lane against this or should I just abandon this lane? Because there's going to be three heroes sitting up here. So I want to ensure that they don't have vision of us on this side. So I lay a, a sentry ward and clockwork's going down here. Um, I know I can't kill him with this blast off. But I just want to create enough damage to scare him away. So I do that. We force out the PL salve. Clockwork salves up. And I salve up. And I think overall that's a good trade for us. Because we're forcing out a lot of regen from the tri lane. And you'll see me here just clicking away. I'm not focused on last hits. I'm focused on helping Clockwork have a decent lane. And I'm just going to keep poking away at these enemy heroes. Without pulling the creep aggro too much and take, taking a bunch of damage. So you want to stay away from the creep wave like this and just hit, hit away. And I'm noticing Lion getting low, so I'm already planning to kill this Lion as soon as possible. Um, our mid laner goes down. I see this lion here. I'm like, wait a second. I can kill him. So I dive in. It would have been first blood if our mid laner didn't die. I land myself killed. Number 3,292. Feels good, man. And I'm kind of floating up here a little out of position. Uh, I think this is a bad play by me because I don't have suicide up. So I realize, oh shit, I'm probably going to die. Because I thought Clockwork was closer to me, but he's not. And then they end up going on the Clockwork, which is funny. So I like dive over here and I realize I'm low HP. I might as well just deny myself. I miss the hit on the line. And I think if I hit the line right there, I would have killed him. Um, but Clockwork ends up killing him. He goes down, I buy some of my soul ring components, and I TP back to the lane. And we're like, okay, this is actually going pretty well for us. <coughs> so I'm pretty happy with how this lane's going. I'm not going to abandon the lane, and we're going to try to win this. Nice cogs by Clockwork. So I tried to upload a Techies gameplay um, yesterday, but I got a bunch of copyright strikes. So that's why I'm doing this commentary here. Because I tried to upload the full gameplay, and it didn't work out. Um, so we end up landing the kill onto the Winter Wyvern here. Uh, I'm trying to bait him into running into this mine. He does. I was trying to play stupid there for a minute. Get a nice last hit. But I had a bunch of copyright strikes on it, and it got blocked in like over 200 countries. So I pretty much just had to take down the video, and I'm sorry. And then while I was doing that, I accidentally took down the Earth Spirit video. So it was a lot of uh, a lot of screw ups. 
So I apologize for that. I get onto this PL here and I take him out. So I, I get level 3, I get level 2 blast off right away and I come back. And Clockwork then goes in. I'm like, I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. PL comes back to the lane. And <laughs> Clockwork just decides to man up. And this is just an absolute shit show up here. And that's kind of how I like it when I'm playing techies. Is I just like all this action. Constant action. Because that's what's getting me gold is getting these all these kills. Or assists. So overall, I definitely say this is favoring us. Because we're keeping three heroes up here. For our other lanes to completely, Slark is just free farming away, and our Viper's kind of losing mid, but that's okay. That's how it goes. And Clockwork can rotate once he gets six, and I can take over the lane. That's kind of the idea with the techies. So, yeah, so I really apologize for the video yesterday. Um, I, I got a few nasty YouTube comments. People really, really feel like overreacting, uh, flaming me pretty hard. Um, and you just got to realize that it wasn't my intention to not upload some of the videos for you guys. So I just deny myself here. Uh, I'm just doing some chip damage because I wanted to go back to base anyway. I had less than half HP. So I just deny myself. Luckily, Lion walks up and I get them both with the blast off. I get a couple CS. And, yeah, it works out for me pretty well. And it should back off cooldown in 10 seconds. So, and during that time, Clockwork was getting the bounty runes. So, I'm ready to go in again. As soon as I see an opportunity here, I'm going to try to go in onto the Phantom when it's there. I see me kind of pump faking it here. Trying to decide what the right move is. I walk over here. I scout out Lion. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going. Boom. And I get him. And I'm like, huh. Oh, maybe I'll take this while I'm at it. And then PL and Winter Wyvern show up. And this is fine. I'm creating space. I buy out so I don't lose much gold. I lose six gold. And I end up going down. But creating some space in the lane for my clockwork. And then the lion, we see him TPing back up again. So this is kind of funny how they keep sending three heroes up here. I, I feel like any like smart team would probably dodge this lane at this time. They'd probably send the PL bottom or something and try to try lane bottom. But they decided not to. I see lion TP up with an observer ward. Um, so that's why I did that. Uh, PL gets hit by a mine there. Gets hit by another mine there. And then Clockwork ends up getting a double kill here. So, nice little place to keep mines there. Um, I blast off it. I get the lion. Uh, the problem here is I have no more health regen, which is unfortunate. And I dropped down a sentry ward, hoping that he laid his lane ward. But I guess he didn't yet. My boy Clockwork goes down. Wyvern gets hit by a mine. And I'm like, I'm going to go hit the shrine, man. Middle tower is under attack. You saw that in the, on the minimap, Wyvern hit another mine. So taking advantage of a little time, uh, Shadow Shaman rotates mid, kills the Lino with the Viper. And I'm just jungling right now for a minute. Take advantage of stacking this 55 seconds. You can stack this hard camp if you hit it with techies. Casually lay a mine because they've got my soul ring down. I probably could have landed this kill on the wyvern if I was paying a little more attention, but I wasn't. Um, but there was no communication from my shadow shaman for that. Um, so we probably could have got him. We kind of got yuked here by the wyvern. I let off a yahoo. PL gets hit by a mine. And I scout out this lion here. And the wyvern. Wish I would have turned and canceled that clarity. But here's the PL. Um, I want to go in here, but they make it over to the shrine. 
And I see that they laid a lane ward, perfect timing. And so it was a good call on my sentry. Uh, we roll um, in chat to see who gets the kill on the observer ward. We both type slash roll and we, we rolled and he won the roll. So he got the last kill on the observer ward or the last hit. So I got my tranquil boots online. I see PL TPing and then my clockwork TPs mid. So I take advantage of this time and I just start getting gold that I can get. Take advantage of it. Um, take advantage of a time here, run past the lane, lay a mine, kill the creep wave just in time to go grab the 10 minute bounty runes and pick up the Tome of Experience. So really taking advantage of my timings and getting as much gold as I possibly can. We'll switch over to the net worth now. Got lucky with the camp spawns here, so I got this dire wolf camp. I get the tome, so I'm almost level 8 now. And I'm going to farm this stack. Clockwork's back up top farming. So while he's doing that, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do this camp. Two mines takes out the stack. And it's good to go. I start running back up top. And I'm like, run over to the right a little bit to the mine. Oh, but they dodge it. And unlucky from me. Uh, but PL ends up getting hit by it. Yeah, I want to say we don't kill them. It sucks, but... So, they end up dodging the mine pretty well. Clock goes down. They kind of outplayed us there. I end up right-clicking the lion down, which is nice. Shaman TP's up like a boss. We smoke. And I just want to kill this wyvern, so... Dude! Easy. This is a pretty solid game for me. I was pretty happy with how this one turned out. Fly out of salve and some more clarities. And I'm starting to lay some remotes in the lane just because I know how active this lane is. I blast off on the creep wave. Level 4 blast off will one shot the creep wave. So instead of laying proxy mines on it, I can just blast off. And then I can save my mana for my mines in other places. Lay a mine to kill this wave. I've got my void zone already. I run over to the shrine. I get lucky with the camp spawns again, and I get a, another camp I can one shot. So I Yahoo in the chat. I like the new battle pass voice stuff. I see this stack here, so I'd start taking it. One proxy mine and a blast off takes out that stack. And I'm moving up in positions here with these uh, proxy mines. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Like run to the mines to the remotes and boom a nice double kill for me so one of the times that I'm really high level early so laying the remotes in the lane which I typically don't do it actually turns out to be a quite an advantage I get level 12 here so level 12 of 14 minutes I'm pretty happy about that I'm just farming my merry self away go get the bounty runes Play a quick stasis there. And I come down here to shrine. And I immediately try to want to be sneaky and start putting some mines down um, on this bottom side of the map. Because I haven't shown once in the bottom side of the map yet. So I'm ready to start laying mines here. Hopefully throwing them off guard. And getting some remotes in the lane in the bottom lane without showing. It turns daytime here, which is... Uh, probably bad timing by me. I might have gotten scouted from the daytime vision of the creeps but I don't think I did. Pick up a TP scroll. I drop my Yule's soul ring and I'm going to try to get a couple more remotes up in the lane. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And now I show in the lane just because I have an opportunity to get um, some farm so take advantage of it. It's not always That important because if I show up there then there's less chance So I see her here. She gets hit by it. She yules dodges the proxy mine So while she has herself yules up I just blast off on top of her when she lands from the yules and I take her out So 
set up a little proxy trap on the bounty rune there. Little stasis here in between those proxy mines. And then now I got enough to kill. I find a lucky regen rune. Very happy about that. So I go up, grab my point booster, and I just start laying as many mines as I can while I have this regen, regen rune active. You'll see me even use blast off just to keep the regen rune going so I can get even more mines off it. I see them bottom, this Lena. Boom, take her out. Feels good, man. Level 15 at 18 minutes. I'm having a hell of a game. I try to... Oh, I do end up KSing it with my Yule's Remote Mind combo. KSing that kill. Easy. So I TP top. I see this PL. I'm like, wait, I've got one Remote Mind here. So... I see him, I blast off with the clockwork rocket, he runs away, and I just tick off the one mine, and it takes him out. So it really was just an amazing game, honestly. Just everything was going really, really well, and I love when this happens. You know, we've got a huge lead already, but, I mean, it's not like, I don't know, we, co we created this lead, you know, techies. The fact that we're playing techies created this lead. So I set up an advanced trap here. Um, this is one of my new favorite spots is when I push up this tier two is I can start putting mines up right there. So when they walk up from the shrine or if they walk over from the tower, this will hit them. Um, I walk over here, lay a proxy. And they still probably won't expect that there's mines right here if I go in the show in the lane because most techies are going to lay remote mines in the lane and not out here on the side. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Most people will expect proxies out here, not a stasis remote mine proxy trap. So I get the tome level 19 at 21 minutes. Feels good. Um, I think I screw up here, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, I think I messed this up. We'll see. Yeah, so she hits this and she yules herself and I, I react like in quick time and I fuck it up. So I go over here, I remote mine, lay a stasis. She walks back to hit the stasis trap. She gets hit by it because she was attacking the proxy. So I walk over again, yules her, and I lay another remote mine and I finish her off. It, it was a really nice kill. I was really happy with that one. But I, I wish I would have hit that kill top because it would have been a hell of a clip. I just, I would, they just like ping top, like kill the Lena, like blow up the Lena. So I like, I react so fast that sometimes I'm not paying attention to like if they yules themselves. So I'm like, just one click, boom, like one click, activate mines, and sometimes it's a little too fast. So another little trap I like now is uh, moving up here to the left. Um, you just saw me lay that proxy stasis there. Um, you'll see me. I'm laying some mines in the lane here to start. I see the PL top. I blow him up with some mines. And then I yules up the Wind Ranger trying to save my clockwork. And the Lena runs over. And she gets hit. this Wind Ranger gets hit by the proxy mine. I hit her with this. And one auto finishes her. And we take out the Lena as well. So saving my clockwork's life. Lena calls GG in all chat. We start taking taking these guys out. I lay a minefield sign down so I can get some remote mines in their base undetected. So while that's going down, they're pushing this bottom racks. I'm just laying these remote mines behind them under the cover of the minefield sign. Spout, scout this regen room bottom. I want it. Boom. Feels good, man. And I'm running, booking it for the regen room. My Viper buys back for some reason. I'm trying to throw the game or something. And I'm like, yo, God Z. Yo, bait this. Bait this to the bottom. Go bottom. Run, run, run. Run to my mines, bro. Like, 
You got this, bro. Bait him. God damn it. So God's he's just sitting on top of my minds, and we know they don't expect a thing because they've already been taken by so many surprises in this game. They don't they don't expect it. And boom. I think I could have got a triple there, but I lay I get a double. And they've got a century ward there, but it doesn't work because I got the minefield sign. I pick up the triple kill, feels good. The lion buys back. I'm getting a little aggressive here. I try to go kill the Winter Wyvern for an ultra kill, and I get fingered and die. Take out the PL bottom with that uh, one single remote in the lane. Get a stasis onto the Wyvern here. He ends up getting away. Slark ends up dying, and we can throw a little bit. I sell all my shit. And I'm starting to pick up right-click items just to have a little fun with some right-click stuff for a while. I even sell my ags right here, which I never do um, for a maelstrom. And then um, I'll slowly farm up a little bit more. I get a couple right-clicks onto the lion. Three right-clicks takes out the lion. I'm just slugging away. Take out the mid-barracks. Get shackled. Uh-oh. Drop the Shaman Wards. We're trying to finish this game, but as you guys can see by the timer in the bottom left, this game doesn't end for 10 more minutes. They defend. Lena tries to kill me. Um, she gets debated. Clock hook shot and uh, four right clicks. Take her out with a nice juke around the corner. And I'm gonna go try to finish up an Assault Curious real fast. TP, go grab all the bounty runes because they're still defending. They kill the shaman and the uh, viper. I finish up the AC, flying it out. I book it right for the rage and I say, I'm done. Let's end it. Oh, never mind. I died in the fountain, I guess. One kill in the fountain. Wyvern, I'm like, oh god, no! The fountain just destroys me. So I start hitting it. And then Clock traps me in the cogs, four staffs out, and he gets me killed, and Shaman has a ghost scepter. I die. I finish the game 22, 5, and 12. And I'm pretty happy with how the game turned out. I know it was a bit of a stomp, but it was still a lot of good kills and a, a good display of the techies. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the full commentary, and I'll see you guys next time. And maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe I'll do another techies commentary upcoming soon. Let me know in the comments if you guys want another uh, techies commentary. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.